What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is the Jay Rivera, and we are back with another, the second, and probably the last, unless stated otherwise, nine tutorial guide. Now, in this video, we are going to cover her movement abilities and her kind of entry level combos and setups. Why wasn't movement in the last tutorial? Because I forgot and because shut up. Okay, so now moving on to her movement. Um, she's kind of a slow character uh, on the surface. Basically, she cannot run. She can't really dash, you know, do some cool stuff. You, hey, you know, I'm freaking Jin. Huh? <laughs> I bet you wish you could do this. She can't really do any of that. She doesn't have an air dash. She, she doesn't really have a ground dash. What she has, however, is like a teleport. So her teleport's pretty interesting. You can teleport forward teleport backwards and once you teleported once you can do a follow-up teleport either up or down which is pretty interesting so her teleport has different properties from a regular dash or back dash in that she does not have frame one invulnerability while most people can kind of back dash basic 5a moves such as Jin you know he's a cool guy he can yeah I can do that what well, never mind his buttons are too active but basically uh, while most people can kind of like backdash uh, basic moves or like certain moves uh, nine can't do that because her backdash is not frame one in vol if I do believe it's like frame three in vol or something like that um basically means she doesn't have a good backdash it's not great however she does compensate with a frame one projectile in vol backdash or teleport in general because if you if I'm good at this demonstrating this Okay, so Jin's gonna shoot his icy pop at, and yep, I'm just, you know, get up out of here. While most people can't do that, Nine can, which is pretty amazing when you're fighting characters like uh, Izanami or Amane, who rely on kind of a projectile to lock you down in place. Nine does not have to block that. Um, there are some downsides, however. Your opponent, you are vulnerable at the end of your uh, dash. So bear that in mind uh, as to not be very predictable. You can't really like go up and say, hey, you know, I'm just going to come up in here and hit you. Uh, if your opponent's looking for it, they will. They can and they will punish you. Now, uh, moving on to some, actually, uh, another thing is her jump. Her jump, while most people, when they jump forward, you know, they cover kind of a little bit of space. Nine's jump is very, very horizontal. Woo! She covers a great amount of space with her uh, forward jump and her back jump. Her back jump covers a pretty decent amount of space, but definitely more than anybody else's. That's mostly because of her lack of mobility. You know, they kind of want her to get across the screen almost as fast as everybody else without, you know, kind of getting rid of her core gameplay elements. Uh, so there's that. Uh, use her teleports as you see fit. If you want a bit more... Mm, there's kind of a lot to her teleport system, like, you know, doing tricky stuff like this, or, you know, kind of knowing when to uh, go forward or back, you know, that you're kind of going to have to discover on your own or by doing, like, some research, because those are just some things that are learned in the battle uh, that cannot necessarily be taught, but can only be uh, learned through actual usage. Moving on, now. Time to go into whatever you guys little really wanted to get into. Her combos. How do you combo with this character? What do I do? How do I uh, do, how do I be cool like you, Senpai? I don't think any of you call me Senpai, but let's move on to some of her combos. Some of her beginner kind of. I'm just primarily going to go over uh, two of her main combos that you need to know. So I'm just going to demonstrate once, and then we'll walk through it. Okay, great. Now let's break this down. So, the typical idea is you want to do uh, water, fire, fire. However, your last fire spell needs to be 3C in order to give them that kind of like floaty thing. In order to combo into Kunzite, after you combo into Kunzite, you want to use 6C kind of like pop them up or kind of keep them in the air as you do 214A to uh, get a, right up right up underneath them you want you want to delay it a little bit so you get right up right up on them then you want to do as they're falling you want to catch them with 4A 
and then a uh, 6A. Bam, bam, 4A, 4A, 6A. Then you want to super jump forward and then do 2A. Uh, yep, 2A. Yeah, you can do 5A, however. This does work too. Uh, however, I do like to do. Oh, I do like to do 6A as it kind of keeps your opponent closer to you. As I have uh, learned over the course of time, it keeps your opponent kind of very close to you, which you want to do because as you're falling, you want to do jump A. Oops, sorry. You want to do jump A, 5A, and then uh, 3C once more in order to knock them down and then you want to throw out the spell that you get which is going to be fairy now there are other enders to this you can do oops um how did i do this again oh there are other enders to this you can do 5a i mean you could do jump b and then you want to do jump b 2b and then 3c in order to get a meteor ender however that one uh, is a little bit trickier because, uh, of course, as you as you learned in my last tutorial, if you've seen it, her B buttons are a lot slower, so at, at the end of that combo, it might be a bit harder to combo because of, you know, hit stun and all that other stuff. So, well, that combo is pretty much good for mid-screen, full-screen, any screen, really. It's, uh, it's her universal go-to combo. You hit them, you do this combo, you knock them down, you get fairy. After you get fairy, you do some tricky stuff, such as that, you know, uh, some cool stuff. Um, you can mix them up a lot because of the way fairy works. You know, kind of staggers your opponent and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you know, just just get creative. Basically, her mix-ups. I'm just gonna tell you how to set them up, but it's up to you to kind of get creative with them. This is not that kind of tutorial. This is just kind of a beginner-ish, you know, to intermediate combo and movement gag. So, now moving on to this combo, which is a bit more situational, but it's still very helpful. Uh, it starts with 3C. Actually, I'm just going to do it. Oopsies. Okay, that was a whole lot of stuff, but let's break it down. So, this combo kind of starts with uh, 3C. Now, the reason why this is good is because um, if you if you suspect, first of all, 3C goes very far, uh, not as far as her uh, 5C. However, it is a low, so it can just like catch your opponent if they're like just not watching their feet. You know, you, you, you got to make sure they check their toes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you're going to do 3C immediately into 5D. You're going to immediately sling the spell out. Bam! And then you're going to do 6D. You're going to super jump forward and try to delay the super jump as close to your opponent as you can because as soon as you get close near them, oh, that was a bit too much. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you do it too slow. See, they just pop out. You want to get as close to them as possible so that as soon as you press jump D, the electro ball hits them out of the air. Bam, 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 bam. And then as they're falling, you want to catch them with 5A. <sighs> Let me catch my breath really quickly. Okay. You want to catch them with 5A as they're falling. And this part... And as soon as you catch them with 5A, you're going to super jump forward, uh, do 5A, and then 2A. So you're going to do 5A immediately into 2A. Bam. Mm -mm -mm. Freeze them, and then do your basic fairy ender. Okay, that, that's pretty much good for, like, round start situations. Um, you know, watch it, making, bleh, making sure your opponent watches their toes, and, uh, you know, kind of just... Adding to your adding to your repertoire repertoire of you know stuff you can just do with this character. So it's like you know uh, you know you want to control up here down here you know check them. Uh, it's just good to have. Okay, uh, two more combos I actually want to demonstrate to you. This one is if you kind of catch your opponent out the air. Okay, this one's a bit more simple. Uh, basically, if you anti-air your opponent in any way, here, I'm going to show you a different way. If you anti-air your opponent in any way, even if you kind of get them with an air-to-air, -air, you're able to kind of, you know, get a follow-up off of it, which is very helpful. So, let's break it down. 
We're gonna start with the six seat because it's kind of the most common anti-air you're gonna get if your opponent's like air dashing at you a lot or if you kind of just want to make sure you check the air. So you're gonna want to do six C and as soon as you get in the air, uh, basically you can kind of freestyle it. Just make sure, excuse me, make sure that you have Kunze at the end of uh, your little string. So what I typically like to do is fire, water, fire, Kunzite, and then you drop Kunzite on him. As soon as you're descending from Kunzite, bam, 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 you want to, going to land with jump A. You want to like, as you're falling down, you just want to like land with it in order to keep them on the ground. And then you're going to go immediately into 6A. And then you're going to do your basic fairy under, just like I taught you guys. Okay, same thing with the air. Oh yeah, another thing to note, uh, if they are kind of, if they're kind of low, let's see if I can demonstrate it here. Mm. Yep, just like that. If, if you believe that they're kind of low to you, uh, and that you think your second fire move will whiff, it's good to do, uh, jump. This is going to take a little bit of practice if you're not used to the input. It's going to be jump and then 2A, I mean 2C. Jump 2C. That'll make sure that you, uh, you keep your combo consistent and, you know, allows you to complete your combo. Bam, bam, bam. All right, great. Now, for the last combo I'm going to show you guys before I call this one a wrap is um, her side swap combo. Now, this is one that I've used quite a lot. It's a little bit situational. Uh, it mostly depends on your needs and uh, kind of the position of the screen you're in. Say I get this hit, right? Bam, bam. Say, you know, I do my standard combo. You know, I basically, you know, do whatever. Bam, they're mid-screen. Okay, great. Now, they're mid-screen, right? The corner was right there. So what do you do? That's what you do. Woohoo! Now they're in the corner. Okay, so this one's a little bit trickier, and it'll take a little bit more practice than the others. So, let us begin. You're get, basically going to do the same thing, get Kunzai. Once you hit there, instead of doing 6C, you want to kind of, uh, you want to do 5A immediately into D, and then you want to delay it just a little bit. And then do 2 on 4A. The reason why you want to delay this is because otherwise it'll whiff just like that. Now this is a bit tricky because you kind of want to be at just the right space. You don't want to be too close to them. If you're too close to them, they'll be a bit too far for you to get the follow-up. Let's see. See? Too far. Actually, I didn't really demonstrate it that well. Okay, whatever. They'll be too far. Basically, you kind of want to be uh, right in, kind of in the middle. Not too far and not too close. Basically, far enough, I mean, close enough that the 5A will reach, but not as close as you physically can be. Okay, I'm dropping this combo. But as soon as, after you get that, after you get the 2 on 4A, you just want to do 4A to catch him falling, 6A, and then jump. Uh, and then just do two 5Cs, and then you're done. Just like that. One thing to note, however... You don't want that happening. So why does that happen? I don't know. But, you want to make sure that your opponent is kind of a person's length away from you when you actually finish it off with 2 on 4A. Uh, this doesn't happen all the time, as you can see right here, but it does happen more times than I wish it didn't, or than I wish it did. So, just keep that in mind, that, uh, they are, it is possible for them to pop up. If they're, like, high above you, when you do that, you'll end up crossing them up with the hit, and then they'll pop back on the other direction, which you may or may not want. There are times that I do want that. Such as when I'm in the corner, now they're in the corner. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you bear that in mind. So, those have been a few little combos. Uh, if you guys really want to learn more, then 
uh, please leave it in the comments below because aside from that, there's not much else I can teach you. Of course, I can go into a lot of the, her setups, her mix-ups, and stuff like that. But that video is not really a tutorial. It's more like just a demonstration, and then it's just something you guys are going to have to practice on your own. Uh, so, uh, with that, I shall bid you all adieu. This has been the Jay Rivera. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you like Nine more now than ever before. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.